Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to study um, the quotient rule. And uh, as the term suggests, uh, this is a rule of um, um, differentiating um, functions that are quotients, where you got uh, a function of x divided by another function of x. So it says the derivative of u over v is u prime v minus u v prime um, all over v squared. Um, now, sometimes um, students um, end up uh, mixing these up, uh, maybe uh, having uh, something like this in the in the numerator. Um, perhaps uh, one way um, that uh, could help you. Uh, to memorize this is the fact that uh, these are in alphabetical order uv and then the way in which the derivative is done we start by the u so the first time it's u prime and then v is all only differentiated in the second term which is the negative one okay um, so let's look at some examples of uh, how to apply this um, so I've got uh, a few examples here, so let's work them out uh, um, right away. So in the first case, we have got y equal to x squared minus 5 over x squared. Now, um, notice here that uh, this one is definitely not a quotient. Of course, we could write it like this, but uh, we don't need to apply the quotient rule uh, in this term here. Same thing with this one. While it looks like a quotient, since the numerator is not a function of x, then that is actually um, just something disguised as a quotient. You see here? Both of these must be function of x. So here, the second term, we can actually rewrite it. Uh, so this thing is going to look like minus 5x to the power minus 2. And then differentiating it uh, as it is, is going to be much quicker um, than if you try to use the quotient rule here. So that means our y prime is simply going to be Derivative of this, we multiply by 2 and subtract 1. We multiply by 2 there. We're going to have uh, minus 5 times minus 2. Then minus 2 minus 1 here. So this thing is going to be 4x plus 10x to the power negative 3. Okay. Then in B, we have got uh, R of t. Uh, r of t equal t to the power 7 plus 4t to the power 3 all over t to the power 4. Now, this one, um, the numerator is a function of t and the denominator is a function of t. So indeed, it is a quotient. Um, but again, this one, if we simplify it algebraically, then finding the derivative is going to be much easier. We're actually going to go through both methods and show you that if you first simplify this, then the differentiation is going to be much more straightforward because this we can simplify by writing it in this form. Since there is only one term in the denominator, then we can definitely do that. Problem is uh, if it was like t to the power 4 plus 1 or something, then it becomes a bit uh, more involving. But this way, this is just going to be t cubed. This one is going to be 4t to the power minus 1. It's going to be minus t to the power minus 4. And so what it means is that the derivative of this will be 3t squared here 
minus 40 to the minus 2 and then plus 40 to the minus 3 and then you can see we can do the derivative basically in one step okay um, now we could do this using the chain rule uh, I'll uh, just uh, work through it to um, show you that it's going to give you the it's going to give us the same answer but also um, sorry to using the caution rule uh, but also to demonstrate to you that it's going to take much longer and uh, it's going to be complicated so the, the 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 possibility of you making mistake making mistakes is going to be much higher so what happens in the uh, caution rule is we always uh, choose the numerator to be u and the denominator to be v so that means our u is going to be t to the power 7 plus 40 cubed minus 1 and so u prime is going to be 4 7 uh, t to the power 6 plus 12 t squared derivative of minus 1 is 0 then v is t to the power 4 so v prime is going to be 4t to the power 3 and so what it means is that the derivative of this is going to be u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared u prime is this one so we're going to have 7t to the power 6 plus 12t squared v is t to the power of 4 then take away u v prime t to the power 7 plus 40 cubed and then here 40 cubed uh, it's actually t to the power 7 plus 40 cubed minus 1 there so uh, there's a minus 1 term and then v squared is going to be t to the power 8. Uh, I think I'm sure you can see already this is becoming very, very complicated. So it's going to be 7t to the power 10 plus 12t to the power 6. And then this side is going to be minus 4t to the power 10 uh, minus 16t to the power 6 plus 4t to the power 3 all over t to the power of 8. Then we collect terms. So 7 minus this is going to give us minus 3t to the power 10 is actually just 3 and then 12 of these minus 16 of these is going to be 16 t to the power 6 and then plus 4 t to the power 3 this is all divided by t to the power of 8 then we now have got to simplify so we are now basically doing what we did in the other method to simplify this so that it becomes easier to differentiate so you can see that at the end of the day we're going to do this same step which is the same as what we did here okay but this is after a lot of work so then ultimately this is going to be 3t squared minus 4t to the power minus 2 plus 4t to the power minus 5 which is exactly the same as uh, what we've got here uh, where is the derivative v All right um so it's exactly the, the same 
um, but uh, you can see that this one is much longer and uh, it's it's not necessary really so if the function can be simplified using algebra that is what we advise you should always do okay let's go to part c now in uh, part c we have got uh, f of x equal to 2x plus 1 all over 5 minus 4x um, so in this case we have got a function of x uh, in the numerator got a function of x in the denominator in terms of division um, this is degree 1 that's degree 1 so we could divide uh, we won't do that in this example maybe we will demonstrate it in example number D so right now all I want to do is we're going to choose u to be 2x plus 1 so u prime is 2 v is always the denominator so v prime is going to be negative 4 so f prime is going to be u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared and then we just uh, simply plug this in so u prime is 2 v is 5 minus 4x uh, u is 2x plus 1 um, and v prime is negative 4 so i'm going to write the negative 4 here uh, 2x plus 1 um, and then this is all over 5 minus 4x all squared then we simplify the numerator so it's going to be 10 minus 8x plus and uh, plus there it's going to give us minus and minus it's going to give us plus 4 so it's going to be 8x plus 4 4 5 minus 4x squared um, so what's going to happen is uh, this is going to cancel out so this is going to be 14 over 5 minus 4x all squared so it's going to be the derivative of um, C um, now going to D in D, we have got G of X, which is 2X squared plus 3 all over X squared minus 2. Again, we have, uh, so we've got a quadratic in the numerator and a quadratic in the denominator. I'm going to do this one using two methods. Um... So in the first method, I'm just going to use the quotient rule straight away. And then in the second method, I'm going to show that because uh, this, this is uh, an improper rational function. So we could divide here using long division first before we differentiate. So that's what I'm going to show you. Um, something that we could have done, of course, even for this one like I said before and then it's going to be up to you to choose um, which uh, of uh, these two routes you want to uh, take so here u is going to be the numerator as usual so u prime is going to be 4x then v is the denominator so v prime is simply 2x and then we just uh, plug this into the formula so again uv minus uv we start by differentiating the u we said uh, uh, if you want to memorize this uh, we also we always do the differentiation in alphabetical order so u prime is uh, 4x so this is going to be 4x v is x squared minus 2 um, then v prime is 2x 
u is uh, 2x squared plus 3. Um, so this is all divided by this all squared. Remove the brackets in the numerator. We're going to have 4x cubed minus 8x. This is going to be minus 4x cubed minus 6x all divided by x squared minus 2 all squared then um, you're going to notice that uh, 4x cubed is going to cancel out uh, so this thing is going to be negative 14x all divided by x squared minus 2 all right so in method two we're going to divide first um, so using long division so in the denominator we've got x squared minus two in the numerator we've got 2x squared plus three so we we'll simply write this here 2x squared plus three so um x squared goes twice to 2x squared so two there so that's going to be 2x squared minus four here so that means the remainder is going to be seven so this is telling us that um g of x which is uh, 2x squared plus three over x squared minus two we can actually write as two plus 7 over x squared minus 2 of which now since that numerator here does not depend on x we can simply write the second term like this which means we can now differentiate the second term using the chain rule so that means g prime is going to be the derivative of 2 is 0. So it's just going to be the derivative of this one. 7 times negative 1. Then we keep this fixed. We subtract 1 here. Then we multiply it by the derivative of that, which is 2x. So what's going to happen is uh, we're going to have 2x times negative 7. So that's negative 14x. And then um, this is divided by, we can bring the x squared minus 2 all squared in the denominator. And you're going to notice this is exactly the same answer as we got there. But yes, yeah, since we started by using um, algebra, to rewrite this then the differentiation is pretty straight forward okay um so let's go to the next example uh, is e so in e we have got h of t no, it's actually h of lambda h of lambda equal to lambda plus three over 2 lambda minus lambda squared now um, notice in this case that uh, we have got a proper rational expression a degree of this is 1 degree of this is 2 so that means for this example um, it wouldn't be possible to have a to work this out using method 2 because uh, this is uh, a proper rational expression. It's only going to work uh, if either the degrees of the numerator and denominator are equal, like this one and this one, or if the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator. So here, we go straight away and use the um, quotient rule. So u prime... So we're telling you all this just so that uh, when you think about these things, you, um, you, 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 you think in a 
balanced way uh, with uh, all the options okay uh, not in like uh, parallel lines just uh, thinking only one way um, okay so u prime here is going to be one v is going to be two lambda minus lambda squared so v prime going to be two minus two lambda so the derivative of this is going to be u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared so u prime is one uh, so times two lambda minus lambda squared that's v then um we're going to have uh, um, u v prime so let's uh, write uh, u first u is lambda plus three uh, v prime is two uh, minus two lambda and then this is all divided by two lambda minus lambda squared all squared so simplifying here we've got two lambda minus lambda squared let's do this like this um so that's going to be two lambda minus two lambda squared plus six minus six lambda okay Um, and then when we uh, remove uh, those uh, square brackets, uh, so this is 2 lambda minus lambda squared. Um, this term is going to be plus, so 2 lambda squared. 6 is going to be minus. And then these two work out to negative 4 lambda with the minus is going to be 4 lambda 2 lambda minus lambda squared so finally um, this thing is going to work out to the lambdas are going to work out to 6 lambda the uh, lambda squared terms are going to work out to lambda squared and then there's going to be a 6 there, 2 lambda minus lambda squared. So that's going to be our final answer there. All right, um, so at, at this point, we're going to give you just a few to try out. All right, um, so we would like you to try uh, these examples here. Got uh, F, got uh, G, H here and uh, i here so if you uh just want to pause the video have a go at these and then uh when you press play then uh, we we will show your answer our answers which you can compare with yours all right uh we're now going to go and uh, uh show you our solutions for problems f to i so for f um like we saw earlier this term uh, looks like a quotient but since there is no x term here we can simply write it like that and differentiate it as a power of x when we do that final derivative works out to 4 minus 6x to the power 9 similarly here even though it's uh, disguised uh, well it looks it is a it's not disguised it is actually a quotient um, but it's easier to divide first and then differentiate than to use the quotient rule if you use the quotient rule it's going to be much longer and then you're going to end up making mistakes so this time uh, the final answer works out to that um, this time yes we have the proper quotient here and uh, it's um we can't uh, even if we wanted to divide we can't because it's not improper so we just let u be t and uh, v be that one and then plug in accordingly 
and uh, it works out to 1 plus t squared over 1 minus t squared all squared. This one is a proper racial expression, so if wanted, we could divide first, so it's improper. Um, so, but we're just going to use the uh, caution rule. So if we do that, it works out to uh, 66p all over, over 2 minus 5p squared all squared. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is useful. Uh, please do subscribe and like our videos and uh, make comments um, in the comment section. Um, thank you very much.